Hi, this is Elizabeth from Conferences.io. I'm going to give you a basic tutorial of how to moderate social Q&A. This video is intended for sessions that have a specific moderator in the room that's separate from the presenter. The social Q&A feature allows attendees to ask questions in real time throughout your session. Attendees can also see the questions that others have submitted, and if they see a question that they like or want to have addressed, they can upvote that question by using the arrows on the left-hand side. The list of questions will automatically reorder based on popularity. So when it's time for Q&A, the moderator and presenter will know which questions are most important to the entire audience. No matter how much time is reserved for Q&A, you can spend that time most efficiently by answering the questions that the majority of the audience wants addressed. We suggest using a tablet or a laptop to moderate Q&A, but a smartphone will work perfectly fine as well. Whichever device you choose, before your session begins, simply type your event's URL into the internet browser, find your session in the schedule page, and click the button on the bottom to sign in as a moderator. As a moderator, you have access to buttons that the attendees won't see. As attendees are asking and voting on questions, you can use these moderator buttons to help keep things organized. The buttons are totally optional, some moderators use them and some don't. It's entirely your preference. The first button is the X icon. It's used to delete a question. Deleting a question removes it from everyone's page entirely. If you delete a question by mistake, you can always hit undo. The second button is the check mark. It's used to mark a question as complete. The idea is that once a question has been answered, the moderator can mark it as complete. When the question is marked, it will no longer be visible on the attendees page, so it keeps the list fresh and organized for them, with questions that haven't yet been answered. On the moderator's side, it's essentially like crossing a question off of a list. The benefit to this is that it allows you to keep the questions around, in case you want to reference them later, rather than deleting the questions entirely. The last button is the heart. It's used to highlight a question. As a moderator, you may see a question that's halfway down the list that you think is a really good one or something you definitely want to ask. You can highlight it for yourself. Nothing changes on the attendee side, but when it's time for Q&A, it makes it easy for the moderator to quickly find the questions that they highlighted, no matter where they end up in the list of Q&A questions. Moderators also have the ability to append answers or replies to questions by clicking on that question. They'll type in their response, hit save, and once that reply has been added, the attendees will now see a tap to see moderator's answer text appear below the question. They can actually go in and click this question, view the answer. There are two major use cases for this. With a separate moderator, you can actually answer some questions in real time. You won't want to answer every question, but this really comes in handy for questions like what was the name of that book or what was that website? Simple questions that someone might have just missed along the way. The moderator can append answer to these questions. That way the attendee doesn't have to wait until the end and the presenter doesn't have to waste precious Q&A time on a small detailed question. If there were questions submitted that weren't able to be answered during the session, the presenter or moderator can go back in afterwards and append answers to literally follow up on every single question that the audience had. You can alert all attendees that you were able to add responses and even invite them to go back into the session. For additional questions and support, please visit help.conferences.io or email us at support at conferences.io.